our fans of the week from Kaplan. George, where are we going next? Uh, let's go to Northside. How about the Vikings? Northside at home taking on Washington Marion in some rainy weather. Washington Marion uh, would fumble the snap. They recover, and Miles Bruno Jr. gets the stop for the Vikings. A couple plays later, another charging Indian fumble. How about Northside and Jacardi Carter? They're off to a 2-0 start thanks to this win. As we take a look at the score, uh, you check it out, 36-6. Another Cougar Stadium, LCCP hosting Westgate this evening. Westgate second chance on the first drive after a Blazer penalty. Quarterback Jabori Antoine doesn't waste any time. He finds Davian Diamond Jackson. He takes the screen 40 yards to the house. Tigers go up 7-0. They would end up winning, blazing the Trail Blazers 43-7. Rain high taking on Iowa. The Yellow Jackets first quarter. Josiah Bushnell with a marvelous run taking it to the end zone for the touchdown. Iowa 8-0 early. But don't count the Rain Wolves out as Dylan Judis responds as he throws this awesome, amazing, phenomenal, uh, give me another adjective, Karaski. Why, really, really, to, really good. There you go. To w Kylan Wheeler, a Wolves touchdown, 35-18, though. This one's in the fourth quarter right now. North Vermillion taking on Erath. That game, muddy, sloppy, really quickly as the rain came down, shaking down to the field. Their Patriots weren't able to capitalize on the ball, turn it over. Game still tied at seven. Erath would be on offense, wide receiver. Bo Lanson picking up the first down, extending it to drive. At last check, this game still in overtime, in progress. A lot of late games because of the weather. Jennings and Eunice at Bobcat Field. This game also dealt with the rainy conditions. Three plays in, officials would call for a lightning delay. Right now, this score, uh, it looks like the Bulldogs are up 14 to nothing in the fourth. Church Point hosting the Kinder Yellow Jackets. Another rain <laughs> delay. That's the theme, unfortunately, that for is. this evening. Kender would have make a tough decision on their first drive, going for it on fourth down. Quarterback Landon Rice with a flip to Keon Pugh. The Batland Bears bring him down the backfield. That turns into a turnover. Bears would go for it on fourth inside the red zone. Jalen Reese would roll right, fumble the football, and that would be recovered by the Yellow Jackets. It's seven to six in that contest in the fourth. All right, Eagles and Gators from Youngsville, VC and Ascension Episcopal. How about Jonathan Dartes? Keeping it, scrambling, slipping, and sliding for six. And uh, hey, this is an interesting contest because this could, uh, this is kind of a uh, back and forth affair. Two schools that are very similar. 30 28, the Screaming Eagles get the victory. Parkview Baptist taking on Catholic New Iberia Panthers. Get off to a hot start. Junior wide receiver Jaden Mitchell catches the quick pass. Juke is by defenders. And he's off to the races, eventually being caught from behind, but not before a really big game. That would set up the play coming up with quarterback Luke Landry. He would find his receiver Gavin Roy in the end zone for the touchdown. CNI 14, Parkview Baptist 10. All right, don't go away. Faust Phenom is next. We're back right after this. This KLFY Sports special presentation is brought to you by Duran and Cawthorn.